Hi, this is the extra episode of K10 Custom Module Making Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about custom vision set. Of course, you can create your own mission for your modules. And there's an option to doing, doing this easily in the K10 mod kit itself. The first thing you have to do is open Unity and go to keep talking mod kit menu missions and create new missions. A new folder named mission will be created in your access folder and a new mission file will be created. I will name it just for example mission 1 and then if you want to add more mission just create new files from the same module oh sorry from the same menu okay I will create three of them and then select your mission and go to the inspector pane this play name is the part that is the mission name that is shown in the game shown in the game so I will name it easy and description is just easy mission and then the pacing events is the events that like uh, the light going out in the room or the alarm clock I'm going to enable that time limit in seconds 300 seconds is 5 minutes and then num strike how many strikes you can get before the bomb explodes you can set it to 1000 and there's not going to be any problems but I'm going to use default tree time before needy is um, the time before inactive before the first needy module before the needing module are automatically activated and front phase only is um, if this mission on this mission your module will be generated on the first on the front phase only or not actually self explain self explanation then on the component pools I will add a new component pool and here you have to select how many modules will ap appear on your bomb in this case I will select five and then type and source you can select if it's your mission mod will be from the mods only or the vanilla only or both in this case it will select it to mod and then go to mod type and then enter your module ID you can also add another people's modules in as well just increase the size and then enter their their mod module ID in that's why you need to specify your mod ID on your Steam Workshop description okay so I will do I will skip the part where I do another true another two mission files and then we will see how to create a table of contents for your missions okay so I have created three missions files and configured everything then to create a table of contents you go to keep talking mod kit menu missions and create new table of contents and in the console you get a warning that the project has two km mission table of contents this is you don't have to worry about this warning because another warning is in the example folder and we're not using that anyway so now go back at our new cre newly created table of content file then in the inspector pane the title is the title of the table of contents which I will set fast map missions and then you can add sections to it I will add three sections easy normal and hard and name it accordingly okay so it still say this is empty you can scroll to the right and press the plus button and 
at the mission's end. Like this, see easy, normal, and hard. You can then drag them to organize. You have many missions in the one in one section, and you can move each section up or down. Okay, so and then you need you need to make sure that all of your table of contents and mission files are included in modern bundle asset bundle or else it will not be in your in your build after that you can go to build asset bundle menu and test it in the game okay so we're in the game then go to the file folder and then as you can see we have a new table of contents called fast map missions and you can see three sections as we created in unity and you can click in and then play the game it's as easy as that okay hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions comment down below if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.